Our usual format to Colin himself. Brian, 3 1 defeat at home to Barrow after a first half. I think it's fair to say few people saw coming, really. What do you think went wrong for Exxon today? I don't think we handled the conditions very well, um, if I'm being honest. You know, Barrow came here, they've done a job, they played to the conditions, they worked hard, you know, they turned us, they got into areas, especially in that first half where they could get plenty of bodies into the box, and we couldn't handle it, um, to be honest. We, our quality on the ball wasn't quite good enough. Um, we were causing our own problems defensively and we got punished for it. You've changed your tactics today as well. Is it a case of not adapting in time to that as well? Maybe, maybe. You know, we've obviously got two strikers on the pitch um, to combat what we thought they would play. And for credit to them, they, they changed their tactics as well. So, so yeah, we had to shuffle quite early, you know, to get a grip on the game. Um, but yeah, some of the decision making and the sort of the things that was going on in that first half just wasn't acceptable at times. Um, and we got punished, like I said, you know, Barrow put the ball into good areas and they put the goals away. You've mentioned decision making, I suppose uncharacteristic errors at the back as well for the three goals, but I guess that's a little consolation at the end of the day. Yeah, you know, I've sat here a few times now and spoke about the characters we've got in the dressing room and some of the qualities we've got. You know, we've, we've got that togetherness, that desire, that commitment. I didn't feel we were, we were like that tonight for some reason. Um, you know, we were very individual at times. Um, and the, the strength of our team is, is that togetherness. And I didn't feel as if it was there, especially from the start, you know, for, for whatever reason, whether it be the conditions. Can't use the conditions as an excuse, you know, both, play, both teams had to play in them. But the fact that Barrow adapted to them quicker than us uh, was disappointing, really. Um, and yeah, but there's plenty for us to work on. You know, I, 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 I tried to change the shape. I got two strikers on the pitch, thinking that we could really take the game to Barrow. And it backfired a little bit early, and we tried to combat them in their formation with the three at the back. Um, which we did for a spell, but we conceded goals at really critical times. Um, and it, it was just uncharacteristic of us. And then the other end, few chances and maybe not getting the balls into the box. But one that did go in, did get the goal. I suppose if you're looking for some positives, at least there was a goal at the other end. Yeah, I thought we were threatened set pieces all night. You know, we got a few we got a few free headers in there. Um, the scoreline could have been different if we, if we take our chances early. Um, but it wasn't to be. And, I think the only positive was we, we are sort of working on set pieces and we, we nearly got in a couple of times and got in one in the second half. But I think in overall play, that was the most disappointing thing for me. Um, I wanted us to move the ball a bit better in the conditions, you know. And it just, it just wasn't there. Like I said, we were very individual tonight and that's not, that's not the sort of identity I want, I want to produce here. When you say that there's some characteristics and you're able to pick out the mistakes, like that, does it make it easier for you to put it right now over the next few days? Well, I wouldn't say it'd make it easy, um, but but yeah, we've got we've got to nullify it straight away, you know. Um, we haven't got time to dwell. We've got another game coming up fast on Saturday, um, and we can't afford to put in a performance like that, you know, if we want to do anything this season, which we've put ourselves in a really good position to do something. Um, we've got to play better than what we played tonight. Um, and I've got every belief in the players. You know, they've already showed that in my short spell here so far that they can adjust and they can show me the right characteristics and the right commitment and togetherness. Um, but for some reason, it wasn't there tonight. You've said for some reason was perhaps the absence of Sean Pearson one of those when you say you're looking for characters to pick the team up in those situations. Maybe you know Sean's a leader. He's our captain. Um, He's here, he's around, so he's been around the dressing room all evening, so when you need someone out on the pitch, when it is going like that, you know, we're not going to get it our own way all the time. Um, yeah, the likes of Sean, you know, um, his back is still causing him a bit of a problem, um, so hopefully he'll be available for, for Saturday. In terms of the conditions, it was an easy debut for Jermaine McGlash and as a result, but what did you make of his first performance in the Wrexham shirt? Yeah, you can see he's got pace, you know, we didn't really utilise that as much as I'd like. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, he's just bending into the team, um, you know, Jermaine's come in, we, we, we're mindful of the fact that Ben Tollett's going to be leaving after this weekend's game, so hopefully he'll get a, a, a lot more positive outcomes going forward um, in the Wrexham share and we can see probably the best of him going forward, hopefully.
And looking ahead to the weekend, you said can't afford another performance like this. I guess the motivation is there, especially looking back at what happened last season, to make sure get back to winning ways as soon as possible. Well, yeah, you want, we want to get back to winning ways. That's two defeats now. You know, um, obviously the disappointment against Leighton Orient on Saturday was felt by everyone. And I was looking for a response tonight, and unfortunately we didn't get it. You know, um, Barrow's game plan and handling the conditions the way they did got us into some areas of the pitch where we we were making mistakes, and that's where goals come from. And credit to their defence, you know, they stood firm. They didn't really make many mistakes. Um, but yeah, going forward, we've, we've got we've got to look forward now. Um, it's so disappointing to lose like that, especially here at home. You know, our home form's been fantastic this season, so I don't think anyone expected that coming tonight. Um, but it has happened now, and now we've got to sort of address it and move on. Thanks very much, Ben. Thanks. Any other questions? You all have Okay, thank you. Hold up. Thanks, guys.